Hello everyone and welcome to my nth attempt to grow a Pachycephalosaurus. Uh, I have to admit that in order to grow my Pachycephalosaurus I have always tried to get a perfect diet. This time on the other hand I've tried to uh, play a bit uh, uh, safer. If the area was uh, too crammed with carnivores or I had a feeling that something might be wrong, I don't know, just uh, guts, I decided not to go there. Uh, just out of a gut feeling. I mean, uh, being scared of everything and everyone around and uh, I managed to survive up to a decent growth stage, almost a fresh adult at 75%. Still notice the difference of uh, a 72% grown Paki, 285 kilograms, maximum speed 34, and uh, at 100% my weight, my HP will be at 500 and uh, my damage output, blunt damage output with my head, boom, it will be uh, a lot more than it is now. Now, the damage uh, itself is never uh, what makes uh, a Pachycephalosaurus winning, win a fight. Pachycephalosaurus win fights thanks to the fractures they inflict upon their opponents. So, if you get your uh, rib cage broken, under different degrees of uh, broken rib cage, let's say, you will consume more stamina if you are running away. I mean, if you are running and uh, you have your uh, broken uh, uh, rib cage, you consume double the stamina you normally consume. So don't get your uh, broken rib cage, don't get uh, your rib cage broken, your body broken, otherwise, you consume double the stamina you do normally. Don't get either your skull fractured. Skull fractures uh, uh, inflict uh, blurry vision and uh, a very little damage output. I think around one tenth, one eighth of your uh, uh, normal damage output. I know, I, I think I have tested that on Carnotaurus. And out of 175 points of damage, I was uh, uh, only uh, inflicting with my bite only uh, 30 points of damage or so. So if you get uh, uh, your skull broken, aside the blue revision that you might experience, that sucks, a very reduced vision field, uh, your attack power with bite is heavily reduced. Don't, don't, don't attack with that uh, broken jaw of yours or uh, otherwise it's gonna be bad for you because uh, the damage output, uh, uh, it's not gonna be enough. This is the end of uh, Arch River slash Mossy River. We have the Arch Waterfall, if you go down uh, uh, there, I mean, against the flow of the current, and uh, it pours in a cave, this one. Now, I, I forgot to talk about uh, broken legs, but that talk, uh, that uh, broken legs, they talk for themselves, kind. I mean, uh, if you have broken legs, you limp, you cannot run. Uh, your uh, running speed is reduced by a lot, by a lot. You do not want to get your uh, uh, legs broken. So we have three different types of fracture that you can inflict on your target, on your opponent, on your opponent. And uh, they come in uh, three different degrees as well. I mean, I think light fracture, medium fracture, and heavy fracture. And um, the three of them uh, affect the gameplay of uh, your opponent in uh, uh, different types. Oh, check it. Is that a Denosuchus or uh, that is just a silhouette of a rock? I do not want to stay around here because I can, I can be launched at and drowned very easily by Denos. This uh, spot is kind of great to hang around with Denosuchus. I don't know, I like it, it's very charming. It is very charming. This is starting, this is where Arch River slash Mossy River gets into Pocket River. Kind of cool, I don't know. I don't know, this is one of uh, the best areas of the map if you didn't check this yet. Well, that's all for today. I do not want to stay too close to water bodies because I am very easily uh, drowned. I mean, I'm a, I am a Paxifolosaurus. I'm nothing uh, too strong. I am very strong in groups, inflicting fractures on uh, solo Carnotaurus players. And uh, even so, I need to be careful around them. Well, that's all for today. I wanted just to talk about fractures and the different types of fracture you can inflict or uh, you receive and uh, how to deal with them. You just rest, nothing else. 
and uh, you don't fight, you just run away, depending on uh, how you assess the situation around you. Every situation is different. I mean, uh, if you have a broken skull as a Carnotaurus, and you have already taken down two of the packies around, and you have another pack around, I mean, uh, you can risk it if uh, your life is full. Uh, you can risk it, you can risk it. It's a big risk, but uh, you can risk it. I don't know. It depends on uh, every single situation. You have to assess differently. Well, uh, of course, you cannot fight a Tenontosaurus with a broken jaw. Come on, though. I mean, I wouldn't as well. I wouldn't unless I really want to switch playable because I grew bored of Paki. Come on, how can you grow bored of this nice beast? Say, I am one of the coolest playables around, just to be played in group for uh, uh, more fun. Well, that's all for real. Thank you all so much for watching. Consider subscribing my channel and have a great day. Bye-bye.